Hello, this is Jonathan Johnson here again today working with Windows Server 2008 inside VMware. Today we're going to be doing Activity 6-4, Configuring the Print Server Properties. The, time, the objective for this is to configure the print server properties from the printer's window. Description is, in this activity you, you open the printer's window and configure the print server properties. So step one would be to log on of course, which we've already logged on to the server into the VMware. So we're going to click start and then go to the control panel. So go start and click control panel on the, on the start menu. If you are in the control panel home view, we're going to click printer under hardware and sound. If you are in the classic view, we're going to double click printers. So right now we are in classic view. So we're going to we're going to go and double click printers. So when you go in here and you find printers and you double click printers. Now we open up the printers uh, printers menu box. In the printer's window, ensure that none of the printers or other selections in the right pane are highlighted. If any are highlighted, click the mouse pointer in an open space in the right pane. So none of the printers are highlighted, so we don't have to worry about clicking in the open pane. So we're going to click the Server Properties button. So up, we're going to click Server Properties tab button up top of the printer's box. So we like that. Now it opens up Print, ter, print Server Properties for the printers. Um, Four tabs are shown in the Print Server Properties dialog box. Forms tab, Ports tab, Drivers tab, and Advanced tab. We're going to click each tab to view its configuration options. So right here is the Forms tab. 12 by 11, 11 by 17, 10 by 14, 10 by 11. Create a new form. Pretty much just forms. Ports, where they're connected and what they, what they are. The port number. <coughs> Excuse me. We got those. Uh, like the... LPT1 printer port, LPT2 printer port, LPTT, LPT3 printer port, COM1 is a serial port, COM2 is a serial port, and so on, all the way down to COM4. Um, then we got the drivers tab, which is drivers are used to uh, update software, USB drives, printer drives. That's, uh, pretty much drivers are used to run almost anything on a computer. A driver is basically an update or something to make something work properly such as USB up dri drivers and stuff. Um, the advanced tab talks about the spooler warning events, uh, log spooler error events, beep on errors. You can check what, so you know what's going on. So that's that. Now we're going to click the advanced tab. Now we go back to the advanced tab. What spooler management options are already selected? So the already selected spooler management options are log spooler error events, log spooler warning events, and show informational notifications for network printers. So log spooler error events, it automatically shows when something, some, some log spooler errors are, occur. Log spooler warning events, this show, the log spooler automatically shows you about the warning events. And the show informational notifications for network printers, it shows you updates and uh, for the network printers and whatnot, and when they're in danger. Um, what is the folder and its path where spooler files can be written? Now, the spooler files in the path is C drive, Windows, slash system, 32-bit, slash spool, slash printers, all in caps. That's the drive for the uh, path to where um, the folders can be written. So we're going to click cancel so we don't change anything in there. We're going to leave the printers window open for the next activity. I'm just going to close it so I can get into it again later. All right, and that's all I have for you in this activity on configuring the print server properties. Basically, I went over, I didn't configure anything. So I don't know why they call it configuring, because all I did was go over things and uh, talk about what they were. So I uh, hope to see you in my next video, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.